In this video we will build a very simple representation of droid division's pit droid model. It will be used to animate lateral and vertical movement, so we will only be using two servos. But I believe that this will explain the capabilities and ways on how to model such a droid and how to configure and automate the animatronics. After starting the Tango, you should see a start screen very similar to the one that I'm showing here. We will start a new studio project. As we are only going to animate head movement of our pit droid, our model can consist of very simple and very few parts. We will have, just for visualization, the lower stiff part of the neck. On top of that, we will have the rotating part of the neck so that the droid can do left and right turns. On that, we will have the head base that we will use for the head to move up and down so that we can have our lateral and vertical movements. And for the movement capabilities, the parts will be joined by um, moving parts, by joints. Let's start by adding or creating our first part, a cylinder, which will be the stiff part of the lower neck. That's why we will also give this part the name stiff neck. Please take a good look at the parts list on the left side of the Botango screen. So far it only shows stiff neck, but this is going to show the parent-child relationship between the different elements that we will be using to build the robot's representation. The parent-child dependency is very, very important in Botango as childs move with their parent part. So if you have something that is like the neck and you have the head on top of it, if the neck is the parent of the head and you rotate the neck, the head will move with it. But it doesn't work the other way around. If you move the child, in our case the head, the neck will not be manipulated by it. We will now add a joint to our stiff neck. This joint will be used for the rotating part of the neck. So before you create the new part, please make sure that stiff neck is selected in your parts list. And then you can add the joint to the stiff neck and you can use the moving capabilities or part moving capabilities of Potengo to move the joint up onto the top of the stiff neck. We will call this new part neck servo. And please look at the parts list on the left hand side where you can see that neck servo is shown under stiff neck and there's a light indention which shows that neck servo is a subcategory or a child of stiff neck. In our next step we will add the rotating part of the neck which should be a child of the neck servo. So please again make sure that next servo is highlighted on the parts list. You can do that either by clicking on next servo in the parts list or on the visual representation of the servo. Once you've done that, you can, as before, create a new part, a cylinder, and use the manipulation gadgets of Botango to resize it to whatever size you would like in your representation. I would place the new rotating neck part slightly above the servo and leave a little gap so that in the visual representation you will see the stiff part of the neck, the servo and the rotating part of the neck. Like in our previous step, please look into the parts list and make sure that the newly added cylinder is shown as a child of neck servo. So it's a little bit indented in relation to next servo. 
if for whatever reason that should not be the case, you can use drag and drop capabilities within the parts list to change the location and the relationship of parts to each other. In the last configuration step for our newly created joint, we need to make sure to tell Botango what the rotational axis of this joint is going to be. In uh, this case, it defaulted to rotation Y, which is exactly the one that we want. To verify the movement of the axis, all you need to do is click the preview button under axis. And if you look closely, you will see Botengo rotate, visually rotating the parts. Let's name this new part Moving Neck. On top of and as a child of the Moving Neck, we will create another new joint. Uh, position it as you see it here, again to have the visual present representation. And we will call this the head servo, as this joint will be responsible for the movement of the head. Now let's place the last cylinder as a child of head servo on top of head servo. And let's name this the head base. The last step to do is change the rotational axis for the new servo, for the head servo. Um, best way to navigate to his uh, configuration page is just click on the head servo in the parts list on the left hand side, which will open the configuration page for the servo on the right hand side of the screen. If you go down to axis, all you will need to do is change the rotating axis to its new value that we want, in our case, rotation X. And again, you can use the preview button to verify if the joint and the part move in that direction that you expected. This concludes this video. And in the next video, we will look into connecting the real world servos to Botango.